All right, hi everyone. So today we have Paige from APR Supply. We are excited to have her join us and share a little bit about her role and the organization. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and just get started, Paige, here. So if you don't mind uh, telling us a little bit about yourself um, and your role with APR Supply. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I am obviously at APR. <laughs> um, I am a recruiter and trainer. Um, so we are, um, you know, smaller company, actually we're medium sized, but um, I've been with APR for just over two years. I hit my two years right before the quarantine happened. So um, <laughs> I was still able to celebrate and everything, but yeah, so I, I handle all of the recruiting throughout the company and um, any improvement of an employee, everything really. So it's a pretty cool, pretty cool job. Awesome. And so how would you describe AC APR supply as a company or organization? Yeah, so we are a, um, I can give you kind of my, my spiel here. Um, so we are a third generation family owned company um, and we deal specifically with HVAC and plumbing supplies. Um, and so we are, oh gosh, growing rapidly. Um, this whole thing has kind of put us on a little bit of a, a hold for that, but um, you know, we typically tend to lean towards growth um, and we're really just a, a great company, um, very family focused, uh, which I know a lot of companies say, but being third generation family owned, it's a little bit easier to, to believe that um, because it's it's still within the family after almost 100 years now. So it's oh, wow. Cool. Yeah, it's very cool. So what do you think employees and um, people that work at APR supply like most about the company or organization? Yeah, I think the autonomy that we give everyone. Um, we are, you know, a retail type of company wholesaler. Um, so it's the way I like to describe it is all of our different stores are run kind of almost like franchises. Like mm -hmm. they aren't owned by the individual employees, but um, they have the the decision making power that a franchisor might have. So they can, you know, rearrange the storeroom as they want. They handle customers as they want, make sales as they want. As long as they're hitting the numbers they need to, um, management kind of stays out of it. Um, <laughs> so that's that's a really, I think a great thing because it empowers people to make the decisions to make us the best we can be. Um, so I think that's a big part of why people like working for us. Okay, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. What do you feel then makes your organization unique from other companies or other, you know, companies that are similar to APR supply? Absolutely. Um, I think obviously the way that we run things um, and the autonomy we give, but we also really care about the employees. Um, we don't see you just as a, an employee. You are a family member. You are someone we want to help see grow. Um, the, I, I know I'm going to butcher this, but the adage that, um, you know, it, you want to train someone so that they can leave you and make the environment so that they can stay. Um, that's really the philosophy we take. Uh, we're very culture driven and a large part of that culture is making sure that the employees are happy and expanding and growing and learning. Uh, no one, no one needs to be stagnant working here. We give you all the tools to grow and expand. So um, yeah, that's really, I think a big part of it. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. What uh, what is something most people don't know or would maybe be surprised to learn about your organization? Yeah, I think the um, size that we are is something that people don't tend to know. Um, reason being, we are mostly a business to business company. So, um, you know, homeowners don't typically come in to see us. So they might see our trucks on the road, but they have no idea what we do. Um, and so we are... We've got about 330 employees right now, um, but we've got over over 30 branches. I think we're at 36 now, um, and we're spread throughout Pennsylvania, and we have a store in Delaware, a store in New Jersey, um, and we, we keep growing and expanding like that. So I think people hear APR, and they have never heard of us before, but we're actually a very well-established company um, that's a lot bigger. If you are in plumbing or HVAC, you definitely know our name, um, but yeah, that's that's a big part of who we are. Um, to, to brag a little bit, um, we won Supply ha um, yeah, Supply House of the Year in 2018, oh, um, wow. which is a big national um, award that we won, so you know, we're 
we're definitely a company that that is recognized out there. Yeah. Uh, maybe yeah. just not by homeowners. <laughs> yeah, no, that's very cool. Yeah. So I would imagine, given your role, you look at a lot of resumes and cover letters. Uh, yeah. Do you have anything specifically that you look for when you're reviewing those documents? Absolutely. Um, especially with people who are just uh, graduating from school, you know, you might not have the most work experience, which is fine. No one expects you to have a ton of work experience. Um, and if they do, that's, that's tough. Um, but you know, it's, I look more for the experiences you've done. So, um, you know, were you leading a group? Did you have this major project that you spent time and energy on that you're really proud of? Um, those are the types of things that I look for on resumes because I think that's more, more telling as to what you're interested in, what your personality is like and what you enjoy doing um, is when you focus in on those bigger projects or um, you know, clubs, uh, were you leader of your fraternity? Were you, um, I don't know, in a sport of some sort, like that type of stuff. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have any tips on what students should do and maybe also not do in a job interview? Absolutely. Um, definitely. I think that people tend to in interviews cause you're nervous. Um, I know it, and it's really something that's hard to stop, but um, you know, making sure that you have answers that are concise, but explain the answers just enough. Um, I think that's a very important thing um, because you can practice your answers day in and day out, but until you're sitting in the interview, you don't know what's gonna come out of your mouth. Um, so that's a big thing. So my don't is don't ramble. Yeah. <laughs> thing. Um, and also don't be afraid to ask when you're setting up the interview. If it's an in-person interview, um, don't be afraid to ask what, what you should wear. Um, I think that puts some forward thinking into it and people really appreciate when you show up, you know, dressed to succeed at that company because I mean, some companies are a blue jeans company showing up in a suit. Yes. Shows that you can show up in a suit, but, um, you know, you want to make sure that you're comfortable in the interview too. Yeah, that's great advice. Uh, do you want to talk about, or do you mind talking about opportunities that are available with your organization for alumni, soon to be alumni, uh, as well as current students? Sure. So we have um, a great program that uh, is for recent graduates. So um, it's a, a full-time opportunity and it's what we call our management trainee program. So um, really the, the goal of it is to grow you into a managerial role. Um, it is a, a two-year rotational program. Um, give or take a few months. <laughs> um, and so we, we give you all the tools you need. You spend time at our branches learning how to run them. Um, but also, oh gosh, you come to corporate for a whole bunch of trainings. Uh, we have a, a pretty intense training program that'll teach you everything you need to know. Um, and that's, I think, a key point to this. We're not expecting anyone to know about HVAC or plumbing coming into it uh, because that's a pretty specific thing uh, that most college kids don't have. Um, but it's really a great program. You become a very well-rounded person. Um, and it's, yeah, I think a lot of people who join this program are surprised by how much information you get, but also how much sticks because, you know, it's not like you're just being bombarded with information and it doesn't stick. It definitely does. So um, yeah, that's, we have a lot of good things that come out of this program. That's great. We had a question come in. Um, what majors do you generally look for? Absolutely. Um, we are open to all majors for this program. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I typically look for, you know, the experiences, the things that you've done over the, the major that you have um, because, you know, everyone is, everyone has to pick a major. <laughs> um, and hopefully you do learn things from it. But along the way, you might learn, hey, maybe I like this aspect of it better than I like this other one. So we find that people who maybe like what they do, but not enough to focus on that only, um, typically do well in this position because you get to focus on everything else too. Um, <laughs> so we don't look for any specific majors. Um, typically people who have some sort of business knowledge do really well. Um, but again, we'll teach you what you don't know. So that's <laughs> pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, that's good. And would you direct anyone that's interested in looking at opportunities at APR Supply to go to your website or do you have a... Yeah. We have the job posted on our website, um, so okay. aprsupply.com, and then I think it's about us, and then there's a drop-down menu that says careers, 
second to last option, I think. Okay. Um, and so you just click on that and it should be just management training titled there. It goes into a really great description of it um, and you can apply right there as well. Awesome. Yeah. Paige, what is one piece of information that you would like to leave students with who are watching this video? It could be about APR supply, it could be a piece of professional advice or both. Mm -hmm. Um, it's going to be kind of about both actually. <laughs> um, so at APR, we have a, um, a philosophy that, you know, don't be afraid to walk or don't be afraid to ask questions because when you walk away from the table, if you don't have those questions answered. You're just going to keep wondering. So, I mean, throughout your professional career, keep asking questions. Don't be afraid to ask them. Um, you know, it, there are no stupid questions out there. I mean, there are some, but you know, typically, <laughs> typically people get over that and they'll, they'll still answer them anyway. Um, and you're only as good as the knowledge you have. So why wouldn't you ask questions? Um, yeah. yeah, just because you're done with school doesn't mean you're done learning. <laughs> very true. Very true. Yes. <laughs> Paige, uh, do you mind sharing, do you have any internship opportunities? Um, right now we don't. Um, we are hoping to start up an internship program next year, um, but it's something that's still in the works and trying to figure out. Um, but I mean, if you have questions about, about the company or anything like that, I'm uh, available to answer questions, things like that. Um, and yeah, we do have summer work typically, um, but that would be more warehouse related. So that's, if you're looking to do something like that, sure, come on in. Awesome. That sounds great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Uh, we've certainly learned a lot about APR Supply, a lot of things that I know I didn't know before talking with you today. So mm -hmm. appreciate that. Um, and, you know, hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you. You as well. Thank you for having me. Thanks.